Hi, I'm Kim Schmidt, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite software as a service offerings in AWS Marketplace. It's Snowflake Elastic Data Warehouse. What that is, is, and I quote, a SQL data warehouse reinvented from the cloud up for today's data and analytics. On this slide, I'm going to go over Snowflake's differentiating factors at a glance, and then I'll show you how to spin one up in AWS Marketplace. Snowflake doesn't require any management. Amazing. All you need to do is load data and run queries. You don't have to worry about backups, sort or distribution keys, indexes, vacuuming, partitioning, etc. The system just works across a broad spectrum of queries. You can have all your business data in one centralized storage location, accessible by any user or application with the appropriate privileges. It has a three-layered multi-cluster shared data architecture. Storage is built on cloud-native Amazon S3. When data is loaded into Snowflake, data is split into micropartitions and metadata is extracted for optimized query processing. These micropartitions are columnar, compressed, and encrypted using a secure key hierarchy. Compute is separate from storage, similar to Amazon Aurora. Data processing is performed by virtual warehouses, which is one or more clusters of compute nodes cached locally, and is designed to process enormous amounts of data at blazing speeds. What's really cool about Snowflake is its service layer. It enables this data warehouse to be self-managing, as we'll see in the next slide. In this image, you see the centralized storage layer pointed to by the purple arrows. The data remains in one place all the time in Amazon S3. Users with privileges can do structured or semi-structured queries from apps, JSON, or Avro, and data can be read in directly with no schema definition. It's treated as relational structured data. As it loads in, it discerns schema as it's read. Then it's columnarized, and metadata is extracted, it's encrypted, and compressed. The volume of data that you can have in this data warehouse is unlimited. The compute layer, pointed to by the yellow arrows, is the part that does all the work. In Snowflake terms, they're called virtual warehouses. They're a set of nodes to do all the processing of data, and you can have multiple virtual warehouses working on the same data at the same time because of the third layer. The service layer, pointed to by the red arrows, constantly understands how your data is formatted. It knows the endpoints for the services. It has a security subsystem, a metadata store for state management. It authenticates users, performs query optimization, and coordinates all transactions. It enables all DDL functions. Queries are compiled within the service layer, and the metadata is used to determine the micropartition columns that need to be scanned. It allows a consistent set of operations across the same data at the same time with full ACID compliance. You can have virtual warehouses doing ETL while simultaneously doing inserts and updates in transactions, and every query sees the same data. When a commit happens, everyone sees the updated data. This is possible because of the ACID transaction is above the virtual warehouses. This allows scaling of data processing, all done concurrently. Let me show you how to launch a Snowflake data warehouse in AWS Marketplace. Here we are at AWS Marketplace, aws.amazon.com WAC Marketplace. In the search bar, all you need to do is begin to type Snowflake. I'm choosing the top option, and you have an option here between Standard and Premier. I'm going to choose Premier. 
on this screen, if you scroll down, you can read more about the product, about the resources and support, etc. How you begin it is you click on continue. Because this is software as a service, you're going to be redirected to the Snowflake site to register and subscribe to the software in order to use it in the marketplace. So you click subscribe. Now that I'm subscribed, I need to set up my account. I click on that and it takes me to Snowflake On Demand. If I scroll down, I enter my contact information, which I'll do and then come back. But I wanted to point out that you receive $400 worth of free usage once you sign up. So I'm going to sign up and I'll be right back. So once I have all of my information in here, I click to agree to the legal mumbo jumbo and then create account. Now it says my Snowflake on-demand registration is complete. It says that it will be available for use within one business day. So I'm going to stop this for now and once I get access, I will show you how to set it up. So here's the email from Snowflake that I was waiting for for one business day to complete my registration and activate my account on the AWS Marketplace. And you can tell that it's Snowflake on AWS Marketplace because it's called Snowflake On Demand. I choose a username and a password when I first log in. And then once I've activated the account, I can log into my Snowflake data warehouse from this link. Let me click to activate. So let me choose a username and get started. Once you activate your account, you're taken to this splash screen that goes over the high level concepts in order to get started using Snowflake Elastic Data Warehouse. You can see on the right, there's a very short video and on the left, there are five line items that are necessary to understand in order to get started. At the bottom, there's also a link to the full documentation. And one thing about Snowflake, it's very well documented. So you won't have any problems if you read the documentation. This is the main user interface for Snowflake data warehousing. If you click on the sample data, you can see that it consists of many, many tables and other information. You can follow the breadcrumbs back to where you were before. You have a demo database, which is where you would start to play around and create tables. So let's do that. Let's say test one. The schema name is public. You could put a comment here like dev or whatever, but let's just quickly just go through this and make some tables up really fast. Okay, so you can see that you can do many other things here, but what we're going to do now is create a data warehouse. So we say create, let's call this test data warehouse one, and auto suspend is an option where the maximum idle time before the warehouse will be suspended, but you can always then resume it and you have the option to click here. Also can click on see the SQL so you can see exactly what it is and alter it if you need to. Then we click finish and what you have to do once you have a data warehouse is, is you have to grant privileges. I'm going to click on all of these with grant options to roll. I'm gonna say sysadmin because that's me and grant. So right now I've created a data warehouse in just a few minutes. Now, of course it's more complicated than that, but there's sufficient documentation to walk you through doing anything on Snowflake. Snowflake has the best documentation of any database that I've ever seen. Now you have a basic idea on the steps necessary to take advantage of the software as a service of Snowflake Elastic Data Warehouse on AWS Marketplace. To go to the AWS Marketplace, on the right side on the top, the link is aws.amazon.com WAC Marketplace, and you would just start typing snow as you saw me do in this video. You can also visit directly snowflake.net, the second link on the bottom right, which is their official website, to get as much information as you can while you're waiting for your permission to start it up on the AWS Marketplace. This is the snowflake.net site. 
Snowflake has been ranked as the number one cloud data warehouse just recently. And I love the fact that Snowflake has snowflakes flying around in the wintertime. As you scroll down the site, it gives you information and lots of learn mores. But there's some great videos here on the Snowflake Elastic Data Warehouse and a video with the CEO, Bob Muglia, right here. Bob Muglia joined Microsoft in 1988 as the first program manager for SQL Server. In addition, he was also in charge of SNA Server, Microsoft Exchange, and Windows Azure. He spent four years running Microsoft's enormous server and tools business called the Cloud and Enterprise Group. He was one of four presidents at Microsoft that reported directly to Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer. This guy knows what he's talking about when it comes to data. And as you scroll down, you can get more and more information. Snowflake has been ranked the number one cloud data warehouse by GigaOM. GigaOM is the industry leader in emerging technology research. You can read it below here or you can download it. It's a fascinating read and it really explains why Snowflake stands out among data warehousing. Thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to learning more about Snowflake and sharing that journey with you. Until next time, gotta love AWS, gotta love AWS Marketplace. Bye-bye.